hello friends welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to discuss one very important and very interesting digital design interview question in fact this question was asked from one of our channel member in nvidia interview it is something related to calculation of log 2 raised to power m and now without wasting much time let us get started Friends, the question is on your screen where you have to design this digital logic. It has n as an input and log 2 raised to power m as an output along with the valid flag. When I say valid flag, whenever valid is high, then only output will be considered as a valid one. Okay, we understand that we are giving n as an input, but what is this 2 raised to power m here? It is clear in this question statement. Let me read it for you. You have to design a digital logic to calculate log 2, 2 raised to power m. What is 2 raised to power m? We are giving n as an input. 2 raised to power m is the nearest and less than equal to the input vector n. Let us take an example. If n is equal to 6, then 2 raised to power m will be 4, which is nearest and less than 6. So log 2 of 4 will be equal to 2. So 2 will be my final answer. Let us consider another example. If n is equal to 14, then nearest value of n, which is 2 raised to power m, will be 8. So log 2 of 8 will be equal to 3. Friends, now you can take your time. Try to think of its answer. If you come to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section and we will discuss it there. Otherwise, I am going to reveal its answer. Now let me reveal its answer. Friends, so far we considered two examples. In the first example, we considered n is equal to 6. Let us convert this number 6 into the binary number. It will become 0, 1, 1, 0. Now from this number n, we need to find out 2 raised to power m, which is nothing but nearest less than equal to number n, but it should be 2 raised to power m, but it should be nearest to n. To do so, we simply need to convert all the binary ones into zeros except the msv1 in this example we have only single binary one which we need to convert to zero so this number is 2 raised to power m which is 4 now we need to calculate log of 4 and which will become 2 because 4 is equal to 2 raised to power 2 so it will be 2 now let us consider the second example when n was 14 and let us convert this number 14 into the binary number it will be 1 1 1 0 now we need to form 2 raised to power m which should be nearest and less than equal to this number 14. Again as the thumb rule I told you convert all the ones into zeros except the msb1. So it will become 1 triple 0 which is nothing but 8. So log 2 of 8 is nothing but 3. So this is my final output. Friends let me write the same behavior with the help of a truth table. So this will be the final truth table d3, d2, d1 and d0 represent the input vector n, y1, y0 is my output, valid is output flag. Let us consider the case when d3 is high, d2, d1, d0, I am writing here don't care because whatever number I write when d3 is high, I am going to make them 0 to get the 2 raised to power m number and this number is nothing but 8. So my output will be 1, 1, which is nothing but 3. So this is what I considered in this example also. Now let us consider the other case when d3 is 0, d2 is high. So I don't care d1 and d0. And my output is going to be 1, 0 always. When d3 is 0, d2 is 0, d1 is high, then I don't care d0. And my output will be 0, 1. The last case when d3 is 0, d2 is 0, d1 is 0, d0 is 1, then my output will be 0, 0 because this number is nothing but 1 which is 2 raised to power 0, so log of 2 raised to power 0 is 0 and valid flag will go high when I give any output. Now in case d3, d2, d1, d0 all are 0, I don't care the output value but valid flag should be 0. From this truth table, very easily we can drive the expressions and then finally we can design our logic.
Friend, before proceeding further and revealing the actual implementation, I have a question for you. And the question is, this tooth table belongs to a very well-known digital design, very well-known digital building block, which we all study in the digital electronics. And you have to tell me the name of that building block. Those who knows its answer, please write it down in the comment section and I will really appreciate. But now I am going to reveal the name and the actual implementation of this module. Friends, the name of this well-known digital building block is Priority Encoder. And now I am going to reveal its implementation, though you can find it online anywhere. Friends, with the help of Tooth Table, you can write the expression of Y1 y0 and valid very easily expression of y1 is equal to d3 plus d2 similarly the expression of y0 is equal to d3 plus d2 bar into d1 similarly you can find the expression of valid here i am not going to dig deep into these expressions they are very easy to calculate so you can calculate them from the truth table from these expressions it is very easy to write the digital design also let me draw it for you y1 which is equal to d3 plus d2 d3 and d2 this is our gate and we will get y1 similarly y0 y0 is, is d3 d3 plus d2 bar into d1 and finally or gate and y0 similarly you can design valid valid is nothing but y1 y1 plus d1 d1 plus d0 so this is our final implementation but now i have a question for you and the question of the day is you have to write a very log code for a generic priority encoder friends although i have created a separate video on this generic priority encoder and i will give its link in the description section as well as in the iba section so you can go through it with this i am going to end this episode and i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you and in future we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, please don't forget to subscribe it and press a bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.